Capricorn. Hey baby, hey. I missed y'all. Welcome to the Mocha Love Tira channel. This is your first time viewing my channel. Hey, I'm Mocha. Hey boo, hey. For those of you who are new subscribers, welcome to the family. Um, this is where we cry because, you know, we have lived, we enlighten, we laugh, we make jokes, and we make the lightest thing, the lightest energy out of some of the most negative situations, y'all. I love y'all very much, and thank you to all of my new families. Thank you for all the likes, shares, and subscribes. I truly, truly, truly appreciate y'all with that blessings and the love and abundance, okay? Thank you, and I hopefully I'm reciprocating that through my actions and just sharing all of it because I don't know why I want to kiss all over this Capricorn energy. What is this? <laughs> this is from the 1st through the 15th of July, 2018. This is just general. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description below. Uh, this will be for my sun, moon, rising, and Venus, as well as the cross watchers of Capricorn. Um, so we finna rock, all right? So I've already uh, shuffled the cards, but I am going to shuffle them again. I've been getting used to um, shuffling on camera, okay? Because <clears throat> I know I kind of have gotten kind of weird with that. Like, how come she only shuffle them cards? I mean, I don't comment, you know, that shit. But I do. Thank you. Okay, so what do you have, angels, for my Capricorn from the 1st to the 15th of July, 2018? Show me. Show me. Okay. Show me. What messages do you have for Capricorn from the 1st to the 15th of July? Hmm. What messages is there for Capricorn? Decisions, decisions. Where do I want to put my energy? What is it that I'm passionate about? Can I also pull your angel message? Capricorn. The 1st to the 15th of July. Shuffle, okay. Thank you. One more. I do what they say, because, you know... I don't know what they say. Comes at a price to pay sometimes. Capricorn. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. All right. Purification and detoxification. It's time to release physical and energetic toxins from your life. The nouns. That's people, places, and things, I feel, okay? If it does not long, no longer serve you, if you cannot build with them, don't chill with them. Don't hang with them. Don't, don't gang gang with them. Don't do none of that. You understand? All right, Capricorn, let's get into it. For some of y'all, from the 1st to the 15th of July, I, I do see an element of secrets, okay? For some of y'all, y'all could be healing, possibly, or healing a situation, possibly, around the Pisces. I feel like this Capricorn full moon that just took place was very powerful for y'all, and it's actually revealing a lot of secrets, okay? And I feel like going into the month of July, that energy will consistently play out. A lot of y'all who have been, um, some of y'all going to find out somebody's hiding money. Especially if you're dealing with a, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, strong emphasis on the Libra. Okay, some of y'all, for some of y'all, karmic balance is, I feel like karmic justice is at play. For some of y'all, some of y'all are going to be going through, um, walking away from relationships. I feel like some of y'all been in relationships for two years, 11 years, 11 months. Some of y'all are going to be healing and walking away from a relationship after truth um, is revealed about a situation, okay? I do see that truth could involve a water sign, a Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, strong emphasis on that Scorpio. And for some of y'all, some of y'all are balancing things out, I feel like, with a Scorpio or wanting to bring karmic justice into a relationship. Some of y'all are going to be walking away, definitely. This could be walking away from a Scorpio. I feel like you're giving your love to a person who 
does not really balance you out. For some of y'all, some of y'all don't even want to think about making a decision. Some of y'all want to sit there and look at that little ugly ass bird, okay? He ain't a really ugly, this is really a cute bird, but still, like some of y'all feel like y'all tied up and can't make a decision, okay? I feel like y'all, some of y'all not focusing on the right things or this could be you. I feel like if you're dealing with a fire sign, this fire sign is not making a decision and moving forward and giving you the love. So some of y'all gonna walk away from that shit. Some of y'all have been in y'all heads, okay? If you have a Gemini Libra Aquarius external to you, some of y'all could be walking away from this person and some of y'all are gonna be really, really, really like in your feelings about it. Some of y'all not really getting any sleep, but as you see that wolf back there, you see that wolf and that, and that divine light, okay? Some of y'all are gathering yourself, but some of y'all know that you're protected, okay? Um, a lot of y'all are kind of pulling back after a situation, after healing, okay? Y'all getting out of that mentally conflicted energy. He got this full moon again. I feel like some of y'all going to find out secrets regarding the Scorpio, possibly in the air sign, um, around that full moon time, or it could also be around the new moon, and I believe that's cancer. I believe that's taking place on the 13th of the month. Uh, for July, but some of y'all, some of y'all could actually be walking away from a situation with the Libra or Scorpio. You're gonna be in your feelings about it. Some of y'all gonna go in, in hermit mode. Some of y'all gonna go in introspective mode, and before you make this decision, okay. But secrets are definitely gonna be in the building. Some of y'all, I feel like who have either a business with this person who you're in love with or some of y'all it's something having to do with money some of y'all don't want to make a decision because you feel like if you move forward your money is going to be affected by this person or in a situation especially if you're married to someone okay let's get it let me clarify for my capricorns from the 1st to the 15th of july let's clarify some clarity. What's this moon card? It's dead. Ooh, shit. Yeah. Some of y'all gonna um some of y'all are going to be revealing to someone. I feel like we're done with a Pisces. Some of y'all are going to some of y'all have, have been in this healing mode and I feel like this healing mode has been going from June into July. Some of y'all are gonna move forward and be victorious and go get what you want. I feel like we're dealing with a Pisces or a Scorpio. So for some of y'all, it's really moving forward with this person. I feel like y'all have got over some type of karmic justice with this person, or I feel like karmic justice in your eyes have been served, especially if you're married to someone. Or having to have children with a person. Anything that would put you in some type of court, I feel. Some of y'all are going to court and you feel like it's going to affect your money. But some of y'all are going to walk away. You have to walk away in the month of July from the way that you do things um, normally due to the legal system. Okay? All right. I was trying to clarify this justice. And what I got to clarify this justice is crazy. Trust your intuition, trust your dreams. Some of y'all are not using y'all intuition and trusting y'all intuition regarding a situation that regards justice. It could also have to do with the Libra as well. Okay. Um, I also feel that it's, I feel like you're not trusting your intuition with having to do with somebody possibly juggling you and possibly a water sign. I feel like you're not trusting your intuition. You're trying to act like everything is all good and hold it together, even though you know shit is terrible and upside the fuck down and you still want to keep pushing forward with that. And it's really burdened to you, okay? It's burdensome. A lot of y'all are finna drop these damn burdens having to do with possibly somebody juggling and you already know about it, okay? Moving away from this person, y'all, and when these secrets get put, when the secrets get put out in the forefront, y'all, there's victory in moving away from this shit. In fact, when you move away from it, you're going to see them coins, okay? For some of y'all, y'all been having financial issues in your relationship, and I feel like some of y'all can't move forward and love like you want to due to finances, okay? All right. What is this King of Cups? Why is the King of Cups here for Capricorn Spirit? Thank you. I got the Queen of Cups. So I feel like you loving somebody who is a sneaky person. Or for some of y'all, some of y'all, this energy could possibly be that you're in love with someone, but you're not going to tell them. You rather move how you've been moving instead of telling them. For some of y'all, even after touch, we're touching these cards, I have my feet are tingling. For some of y'all, y'all gonna find out that this person you in love with is a sneakster, especially if they're a Gemini Libra Aquarius. I feel like you're trying to love this person. This person could be sneaking off and giving their love to uh, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Okay, please clarify for me. And it's crazy because for some of y'all, especially if you a man. I feel like if you're a man dealing with a woman, some of y'all might actually be finding out the person, that the, not only is the person cheating on you, but they cheating on you with a woman. 
Y'all let me know how that works, okay? And you know, I don't judge, but I feel like if you've been married to someone for like, this is definitely marriage. This is having to do with somebody's marriage. Somebody, instead of their lover is not telling them, hey, I want to move on. They sneaking off. And you thinking they sneaking off with a man, but really they giving their love to the same sex. Okay. All right. What is this nine of pentacles for my Capricorns? Oh, that jumped out. Okay. But some of y'all, like I said, some of y'all are kind of in your head about it. Some of y'all are trying to shed light on the situation and really kind of look at it from a different perspective because you already know that this. for some of y'all, this is going to affect your money. And you just feel like making a decision is going to affect me financially. So I just kind of want to sit here, even though I'm passionate about moving forward because underneath the uh, two of ones, I got the chariot. Okay. So some of y'all are passionate about moving forward. Some of y'all really want to move forward. Y'all want to leave this shit. Okay. The death. Spirit, please clarify the death. Okay. All right. So I feel like somebody feels bondage because they have a new beginning. They have a passionate new beginning with someone from their past. But I feel like somebody's in their head about moving forward and having that passionate new beginning. Okay. But what you don't understand is that if you move forward and just move and let this old shit die, all the secrets under the sun, all you see this shit. Rebirth. Some shit is being resurrected. Some shit that somebody put swept under the rug, possibly from the past, is being resurrected, okay? And honestly, it has to do with someone not having clarity regarding someone from the past, something in the past that has a passionate beginning, I have the passionate, or pretty much has the, what's the word I can use? It has the ability to start off something fresh and something that you're passionate about okay or this could be external to you this could be the other person spirit please clarify this nine of swords why is the nine of swords here that jumped out some of y'all on your head you can't sleep because you can't make a decision on the cool you some of y'all are getting y'all wish some of y'all wish to be abundant some of y'all wish to have it all some of y'all wish to live your dreams but unfortunately everybody is lonely at the top and some of y'all Thank the catalyst that's coming up in this mix to release y'all from the situation that y'all couldn't release y'all selves from. But I feel like if you're dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius, I feel like this is the energy, okay? This energy here of I can't sleep, I'm in my head, I'm making an indecision, okay? Um, but someone's definitely going to get that wish. You could also be dealing with the Aquarius. So here, please clarify the Four of Swords. Why is the Four of Swords here? Thank you, Spirit. Definitely, somebody is healing. Somebody's going to heal, okay? After the ending of a cycle, after the ending of a um, of a world cycle, a new way of ending something to go into something new, okay? And then the sun card overpowers that definitely confirming that something new, something new is about to come to the horizon. But you need to take the time to definitely heal first and definitely make a decision from the 1st to the 15th of July. Somebody's definitely getting cut off, okay? All right, so... Some of y'all, again, like I said, to clarify the hermit card came the five of swords. Okay, some of y'all in introspection mode. Do I go? Do I stay? But somebody's definitely getting cut off uh, from the 1st to the 15th of July. Okay, let's clarify this chariot card. Yeah. All right, I got four, and I'm going to take them all. All right, with the chariot card, yeah. It's funny because you got the Ace of Rods, you got the Ace of, so whatever it is that you, some of y'all are going into new jobs, moving away to new jobs, okay? Some of y'all, actually, I hate to say it, but some of y'all have a Virgo boss. This person may actually um, cut you out. This person, some of y'all may be getting fired, okay, from the 1st of the 15th of July, but as soon as you walk away, some of y'all had two decisions anyway to make it moving forward, but the best decision you were kind of sitting stagnant and the divine is going to come and help you bring it to the material form. So some of y'all are walking into a new opportunity, starting new businesses, okay? Y'all getting information regarding what it is that you're trying to work into, okay? That's going to sit you in this king seat, the king of pentacles. So some of y'all are working on starting something new, possibly with a cancer or a um, Taurus Capricorn, Virgo, or this could just be you, okay? Just bring it, starting a new business, starting something, getting information, away, no information regarding the business, maybe. But you are going to be very prosperous and it's covered. God's plan. You understand? All right. There's two of wands. Please clarify the two of wands. Whoa. The two of wands. Please clarify the two of wands for my Capricorn from the 1st to the 15th of July. It is clarified by the Nine of Cups. 
So, for some of y'all who don't want to make a decision, one of these decisions is actually you getting what you want. You got the Nine of Cups and the Star card, okay? But you have to walk away from this toxic energy. For most, I know that this is the Capricorn card, the devil. However, I feel like this is external energy to you. It's toxic. You know it because the high priestess is here and you're thinking about moving forward. And if you do so, you're going to release this. Okay, and ironically, it goes perfectly with your angel messages of purification and detoxification. It's time to release physical and energetic toxins from your life. I mean, that's people, places, and things because for some of y'all, that's definitely going to bring the balance back to your life. Okay, a lot of y'all are needing balance right now. Okay, balance is very critical. Okay, but you're going to have to make a decision who for you, who against you, what your worth is. What do you want and where you want to be, where you want to go and fuck who don't like it, okay? That's what I have from the 1st to the 15th of July for my Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. If you need a personal reading again, you can find that information below within the description. Hit me up. I only schedule within 24 hours outside. Definitely am available all week. Mwah. See you later, mid-July. Mid La familia. Deuces.